Bees are now buzzworthy when it comes to smoothing out wrinkles. Bee venom in creams and lotions promises to fool the skin into thinking it's been stung. The jury is still out, though, on whether or not bee venom really works. But Betty Cross reports tonight using it could be dangerous for the two million Americans allergic to insect stings. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tanya Phillips takes great pains not to feel the pain of getting stung by her honeybees. Bees don't like smoke, so this keeps them away from us. Deep in southern Travis County, this master beekeeper knows if she stays calm. Hey, little bees. The bees might too. We're just looking at their honey, and I haven't done any quick, fast movements that make them, you know, feel like they're under attack. Tanya works really hard to avoid bee venom. Uh-oh, they're getting mad. Smoker. <laughs> so she doesn't quite get why the toxin is creating so much buzz. When it's injected into the skin, yeah, there's a definite plumping that occurs, but it's not something that looks good. Tanya isn't sold. But bee venom is becoming a trendy new ingredient for creams and cleansers. At Westlake Dermatology, Dr. Elizabeth Geddes Bruce thinks some patients. Hello, I'm Dr. Geddes. Might not read the warnings or realize the potential danger. If you have a serious reaction, it can be the kind where your throat closes and you have trouble breathing. It can be life threatening. Dermatologists recommend you do a patch test before you slather bee venom or really any product all over your face. So I recruited two CBS Austin producers and we're all going to put a little dab on the inside of our arms. Cassandra, you've never been stung. No. So you don't know if you're allergic. Kate, you don't think you're allergic. No, but I haven't stung. All right, we're gonna find out the real truth though in 24 hours. The next day, both ladies reported very similar reactions. A little bit of tingling at first, but now nothing. The cream our producers tested list bee venom as the last ingredient. Higher concentrations could cause stronger reactions, especially if the skin isn't perfectly smooth. You might have little micro breaks or tears or, you know, an acne bump that causes a break in the skin, and then you are potentially getting exposed to it and it getting into the bloodstream. <laughs> At Bee Friendly Austin. This one has a lot of propolis that I like. They don't collect bee venom or use it. What Tanya wants. We can take it and scrape it off. Is any extra sticky glue. Ta-da. Honey and beeswax. Almost there. She uses it to make lip balms. All right, it's done. And fill trays of lotion bars. The simple ingredients don't promise to plump up skin like it's been stung. This is almost pure honeycomb. But there's also no fear of needing to make a beeline for the emergency room. A good 30 to 40,000 bees right here in this colony. Betty Cross. That's a lot of bees. <laughs> CBS Austin News.